Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mike McBride. I'm the director of CTE at Compton Unified School District. And I, I'm really actually, I'm, I'm really honored to be here and be able to speak with you guys and share a little bit today. Um, I wanna talk just a little bit, I'll start off just a little bit with, about myself. Uh, I grew up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin in the 1970s and 1980s. Milwaukee, Wisconsin has the dubious honor of being one of the most hyper segregated cities in the country annually. And as a person of color growing up there, I felt that. And I felt that when I was in school, that school wasn't for me. I didn't feel like the system really worked for me. Um, luckily, I was kind of a late bloomer in school, but that wasn't just because of me. That was because we, I had a whole system of support behind me and people that were outside of the system, teachers on their own time, worked with me, my family, other people helped me out because I often wonder where I'd be without them. Um, but also during that time, hip hop, or we, what we called it rap music at the time, was an emerging art form um, there as well. And I, I remember thinking that wasn't a very validated form of art in the mainstream culture, especially growing up in the, the context that I did in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, it was kind of hard to, to find rap music. We had to go like scratchy AM radio stations. It, play, it was played on. If you went to the record store at the, at the mall to buy a cassette tape, you had to go to the back end of the store to find something. Even MTV, I remember, wouldn't play rap, rap videos. Um, so, but I still listened to groups like Houdini, Run DMC, Fat Boys, LL Cool J. Um, and I was always surprised that there were more young people or people my age that were also listening and, and buying that. And you get suburban white kids, you had inner city black kids. Um, and they were, and, and it just, it dawned on me like, even though it's not considered mainstream or it's not being validated, it's going to be because there's more of us that are working on this than, than not. So, um, so today I, I'm just, it's kind of taking me full circle as an educator who just completed my 25th year in education seeing that this kind of movement and all the people that are working, it's, it's, it's taking me back to like finding out that all these other kids are listening to rap music as well. All these other people and all these other districts and all these other industries are working to kind of push this forward. To me, it's, 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 it's amazing work. And I, I hope that I can do my part just to push the boulder up the hill a little, little, little bit as well to get, um, to expand the arts, not only hip hop, or not only the arts, but hip hop through the formal uh, K-12 education system. So I'm gonna try and move. Okay, so today I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, the work in uh, the K-12 space that we've done in Compton. Uh, there's still so much work that needs to be done, um, but really the fact that, I, that there's a lot of possibility. And I think that in the context of what we're looking at in education right now, now is the time to continue to push this and, and really push it hard because I think there can be some huge growth uh, in, the, in the near future. Uh, we know that education moves very slowly though, um, but I think that we, we can do that and, and really evolve the education system, maybe through some of the arts that, that are being pushed. Um, so the first thing that I wanna talk about though is uh, Compton Unified. Uh, Compton Unified uh, School District. Uh, there's a lot of perceptions about Compton, um, but Compton Unified is a very dynamic district. It serves roughly about 20,000 students um, every year, and they have about over, a little over 30 different sites. And more, more recently, they've been really focused on three different um, initiatives or focal points for the, for the district. One is STEAM-focused initiatives. And so uh, for those of you that are not in education, we have way too many acronyms, but I'll throw one more at you, STEAM is uh, science, technology, uh, engineering, arts, and mathematics. Um, and we also are trying to be, we're very equity driven in Compton Unified. So making sure that we provide all of our students exactly what they need to be successful in whatever they choose. And then connecting through innovation. Really, how are we connecting with students? Um, and how are we connecting uh, with the community? And that often involves looking at different avenues to connect with people. And while I'll say this is great that Compton's doing this, I don't think it's unique. I think this is happening across the board at a lot of K-12 districts. And because of this, I think that there's unique opportunities for this kind of work to really be successful in terms of moving forward. Um, so when I say focus on uh, STEAM, a couple things, uh, we have strong industry partners like Verizon has um, created a lot of innovative uh, learning labs. 
in these labs in our middle schools and elementary schools, they have podcast equipment, they've got green screens, they've got all this technology that students have access to that I never had when I was a kid um, that can, can also assist in this work. Um, and the whole point of the labs is to have students look through, to use their creative creativity to, to further their learning. And I think this is pushing the school, our schools at least in different directions. And again, I would say that this is probably happening across the board. We also have events like our STEAM Fest. Now last year, the STEAM Fest um, was, was um, canceled due to the pandemic. But what STEAM Fest is, is it's, it's a, um, students with industry partners showcase their annual projects there um, related to STEAM. Community members come in. They oftentimes ask for ways that they can be involved. So again, this also creates a, a platform where things where hip hop uh, initiatives can, can be successful. And then eSports, we recently launched eSports. And again, like hip hop, um, eSports, I was, I grew up in the eighties playing Pac-Man and the, the idea that video games in schools would be kind of validated. I mean, our Compton Unified invested heavily uh, financially um, um, to, to put on an eSports tournament. Um, they gave all this technology to the, to the students and this is something that's gonna move forward as well. So I think the notion of like, when I think back to the 80s and, and rap music being a validated art form in, in, in society, let alone my school, um, that was kind of mind blowing. And, 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 uh, and, and we see it in, in video games as well. So I think all of this is creating again, a, a condition or, or culture where, where we can be successful in, in, in implementing this. Oops. Um, some other things, uh, focus on, on, um, on connecting to the community. Um, they do vaccines, um, the, the huge vaccine um, pushes during the, the pandemic with groups like, uh, or organizations like Kaiser Permanente and St. John's. Also the district was lauded for its efforts in terms of um, providing food and, and meals as, as many schools and districts were during the pandemic to families in the community. I think they provided over 39,000 pounds of food and meals, uh, farm to family uh, meals uh, during the pandemic. So again, Great work that's done. And this is outside the context of what we normally think of school districts and, and what they're doing. Um, and then focus on equity. Um, there's uh, one, one of the things that, this is just one of the issues, but we have, the, they're leading the space and male teacher of color Alliance in collaboration with CSUN. Also, there's a lot more culturally relevant social studies courses that are being offered. And the whole goal is how are we connecting with our students? How are we telling their stories? How are we making sure that we're not, as uh, Principal Nakamura said, um, just, just teaching about Shakespeare. You know, we wanna teach that what are their stories? How can we connect with them? Um, so all of these things, again, I think are great. We also have, um, and again, this is not unusual. If you have high schools in, in local, any local district will probably have CTE pathways. Here you can see ours on the screen. There's three that I bolded, the performing arts, commercial arts, and TV production, because those are our arts, media, and entertainment sectors. And districts will have these. Um, so they have space for um, hip hop culture to, to, to be built. And when I, since I joined the group, Martha and hearing about the work that she's doing with a lot of industry partners and in the post-secondary world. And of course, Alison Frenzel, just an amazing job uh, at the state level of pushing, you know, how do we get the standards? How do we look at certifications for, um, for teachers? How do we ease those transitions to get people that are authentically in the music industry or from a hip hop background to, to the classroom? So it doesn't get diluted. So we're, we are teaching the stories and, and the music and the art form as it should be. Um, there's spaces for that in, in schools and in districts. And, and like I said, um, since I've been on, on this work, we've been looking now at like, how do we change, how do we change our existing pathways that we're doing, looking at the curriculum and the projects. Um, today, this, the notion of the open mic freestyle Fridays, you know, like I'll take that and throw that back at the districts. Um, as, as people in education know, the best teachers are people that are thieves and, and we steal ideas from other people. So I'll be taking that and throwing that back. Um, and I think that there will be less pushback now. Um, people are looking, looking for this, educators are looking for this. Um, and then also we're investing, schools are looking different. Um, so this is the new Compton High School. They just, they actually just knocked down 
the old Compton High School, which is over a hundred and I think 10 years or 20 years old. Um, and the way that they're building in, in the lab spaces that they're building in the school, the video production lab spaces, you can see the blueprints here, are things that I didn't have growing up. And it again allows for this kind of work to occur. And you can see here, um, uh, this was a, a lab space that Allison and one of her partners shared with me that they built out in a Las Vegas high school. So kids get, get the opportunity to work on this kind of equipment. So I think again, all these conditions will allow for, for things to, to really grow and, and maybe grow quickly um, in uh, education. As far as our, our program, we did offer, we took the H2E2 grant and then the district also funded um, so they threw in money, so they saw value in this with our um, elementary and middle schools, um, a six week program um, during, during summer schools and enrichment program. We, we partnered up with Noisy Props, Young Musicians Foundation and Girl Make Beats, Girls Makes Beats um, to teach about the dance forms, the music production um, and just the creativity uh, piece about hip hop and how students can be involved in that and to build their awareness that this while you may enjoy it as music or you may enjoy it as an art form, this could be a career for you. And um, this is something that we wanna to continue to, to, to push for, for this, the students in this, this area. Um, I do think, you know, even though we, we had that um, in, the, in the summer and it was, it was fantastic, we we're also planning for the fall. Right now we have a fall proposal for after school clubs with Girls, girls Make Beats. Um, I, I, like I said earlier, we're also looking at ways that we can alter what we're doing currently in our audio visual production pathways. Um, in fact, we had another high school, Dominguez High School, that asked when they heard about kind of the work that was being done, they said, we want to offer that as a CTE pathway in our, in our school, whereas the district was currently only planning to have it at the new Compton High School. So they know uh, the principals want this kind of stuff because they want things that engage students. And I think every district right now coming out of the pandemic uh, where we, you know, there was, there was a lot of disengagement by students. Um, they're looking for innovative ways that'll connect students. And that's why things like esports and hip hop, these are things that will connect, especially urban youth. Um, they'll connect kids back to school. They'll bring them back in and it will validate kind of all the other teaching and education that, that we have. Um, the last thing that I'll say also is that this doesn't come without challenges though. Um, obviously, while we're, it's great that we had it as a six week session and we're building this up um, in Compton, it was in summer and it was a, a kind of an elective for a, a, by choice. And until it's in woven in the fabric of the day, I think um, it will always be on the back burner. And in a lot of ways, these are the programs that can be cut. We know arts programs can be cut really easily. So I think this work is, is really key, but right now with districts having the, the funding that they've been getting and one-time funds to build lab spaces to maybe hire or contract out with different um, industry partners, I think now is the time to, to continue to push it forward. And you know, we even the after-school club, that's great as well. But again, it needs to be in the fabric of the day. And I think, all these conditions are coming, and in some cases they're already here. So I, I, I'm very optimistic in terms of the work that's being done. And again, seeing all the other people and um, that are doing it kind of on their own and trying to connect those dots, I think will will we'll make it successful. And this is what this um, conference is about. This is what what this is what people are doing across the board. And it's just a matter of time, I think, before. Um, before we get to where we, we want it to be, which is a validated art form in the education setting.